Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. Sam and Dean Winchester have had adventures for 327 episodes spread across 15 years in Supernatural, with some also carrying such heavy moments that it's difficult to rewatch them knowing what's going to happen. Since there are so many episodes, fans can simply skip the ones that they find are anything from too heartbreaking, boring, or just bad. Whether it's something like Sam dealing with Dean's death to the failed backdoor pilot of Supernatural Bloodlines, it seems worth looking into the episodes that very few have ever watched back again. The first season of Supernatural wasn't for everyone. While there was a lot to love about the season, as it was one of the few that consisted almost exclusively of Monster of the Week stories with a little mythology along the way, that also meant that when the monsters weren't interesting, the episodes fell flat. That included the episode with a racist truck. In Route 666, Sam and Dean found a town where a truck chased down black men and killed them before disappearing into the night. What resulted was a ridiculous premise with a villain that was a truck kept mostly in the distance. With bad writing, lackluster acting, this was one episode that fans could skip and never miss anything. After a disappointing season six, Supernatural picked up the pace again in the next season with the introduction of the powerful creatures, the Leviathans. This created a new big bad that was interesting and fresh, and Sam and Dean looked like they could get into some interesting battles once again. However, after two great episodes to start the season, things screeched to a halt with the third episode, The Girl Next Door. While the episode looked fun at the start with Bobby helping Dean escape from the hospital, things started to go off the rails with the story. The worst sin a television episode can commit is being boring. The episode has flashbacks to Sam from years past and a monster he had a relationship with. But when Dean shows up and kills her in front of her son, it puts the two brothers at odds again. Between Dean's moral code, never seeming consistent, and the brothers' constant trust issues, this episode brings out the worst aspects of the show. In a season six episode, Mannequin 3, The Reckoning, things got a little ridiculous. Clearly, that was the point based on the name of the episode, bringing back memories of cheap horror sequels of the 80s, but this episode was just one that most people watched once and never felt the need to turn on again. The idea was interesting, with a haunted kidney. This meant burning the bones didn't end the threat as long as someone had that organ donated to them. But outside that little twist, the entire mystery was by the book and delivered nothing new. Between Dean going back to the family that he left behind, having a terrible conversation with Ben, and his constant back and forth with Sam going nowhere, things dragged their feet here. And the lackluster monster of the week just didn't help matters for this episode. There are several contenders for not-so-great episodes. However, when it comes to the worst ones ever, Rock in a Hard Place is right there for fans wanting to forget it ever existed. What really hurts this episode was that it was just a bare-bones plot, with Sheriff Mills calling in Dean and Sam, and then the two just stumbling from one clue to the next. Between them not needing to even try to solve the case, and the fact it was just boring and offered nothing new, made this an episode that was forgettable. It also hurts that Dean is more than creepy in this episode, and it is a portrayal that really destroys the character development he had up to this point. Sam and Dean can often save bad episodes, but when they come across as badly as Dean here, nothing can redeem it. Not even Jody, one of Supernatural's best characters. Another one that didn't seem to sit so well with fans was the episode called Bugs in Season 1. Viewers didn't seem to like the idea that Bugs could be the villains of a story, which is what the premise was supposed to be here. The bizarre outline of the heroes fighting insects and running away from them isn't endearing, and fans usually mention this episode when pointing out the weaker ones in Supernatural's history. Season 3 finale, No Rest for the Wicked, had the most compelling cliffhanger in Supernatural history, but the fans didn't seem to be able to bear to watch Dean bite it in such a gruesome fashion. The episode sees the brothers ambushing Lilith to prevent Dean from being sent to hell only for Lilith to outsmart them. Dean is brutally slain by a hellhound, which is a sight that Supernatural fans always want to avoid. 
since the entire struggle to get to Lilith is for nothing. Rewatching the episode just to watch the hero get killed again isn't something that fans are itching to experience another time. Season premieres of Supernatural are usually fast-paced in order to capture viewers' interest straight away. However, Exile on Main Street doesn't conform to this practice. The premiere drags along showing Dean's mundane retired life until he's saved by Sam, but the remainder of the episode's events are equally slow. There's very little action and a lot of Dean and Sam walking around talking about uninteresting things like Lisa and Ben or the Campbell family. Fans don't really care about either. The fallout from the previous season is the only reason viewers watch this the first time around and very few rewatch it after that. Some storylines just make people uncomfortable more than anything else and watching a grown man pretend to be a family's dog certainly qualifies. In season six, episode All Dogs Go to Heaven, Dean and Sam learn a skinwalker has become a family's pet before uncovering several other skinwalkers that look to eliminate them. The episode attempted to make viewers feel bad for the dog skinwalker but it didn't seem to work out very well. Among the most notorious storylines that Supernatural dropped was its attempt to launch a spin-off. Bloodlines barely has Sam and Dean at all, with the focus on monsters around Chicago and its protagonist Ennis, who has little to no personality for fans to connect with. Since nothing came out of this intended backdoor pilot, the episode is an unfulfilling inclusion in the series. With almost no Sam and Dean on screen either, Bloodlines is a creative misfire that both the show and its fans are very content with trying to forget instead of reliving all over again. Fans don't generally like episodes where Sam and Dean are separated, much less when one of them straight up doesn't care about the other. In the episode Black, Demon Dean's newfound evil attitude makes him give up the love he had for his brother and engage in mischievous antics while Sam searched for him. The episode's premise is already frustrating in its first viewing, which leaves little room for a rewatch. The character of Cole Trenton wasn't met with positive reception, and his debut here isn't an aspect that anyone remembers fondly or would want to check out once again. Charlie grew to become a fan favorite, and the supernatural fandom is still saddened by her demise. And the episode Dark Dynasty is where she meets her doom with the final shot of Charlie's bloodied corpse, still a sight that's difficult to stomach. While it carries a tense and intriguing pace, Charlie's death is too sad to qualify for repeated viewing. It has another heartbreaking element in retrospect, in that fans know that this version of Charlie never came back to life or was ever reunited with the brothers. Knowing that the episode is the last time viewers will ever see Charlie again, might just make it too difficult to feel the impact once more. The series finale broke millions of hearts worldwide when Dean was killed off for good. Many expected a happy ending for the brothers, which only arrived at the closing moments when Sam and Dean were reunited in heaven after decades. Most of the episode is about Sam's grief. There's either the death of Dean to watch here or Sam's intense mourning period. Neither is appealing to supernatural fans. Even the viewer, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content and I'll see you again next time.